Hello everyone, this video we will talk about our new video plan. We can discuss together. I want to make the new video talk about the ESP Home because many of our customers have used the Home Assistant software and also mainly used by the ESP Home. So the Home Assistant is widely used in the world and it's open source and it's free and almost Every, every week or every month, we have a new update version. And from two years ago, King Kony have designed many ESP32 board uh, for the ESP Home. So that you can configure it by the ESP Home. And for any logic, for any function, you just configure the YAML file. And the ESP Home also is open source and it's, it's free and uh, widely used by the smart home DIY. But uh, many people also don't know how to configure it. And for many smart home beginners, he don't know how to configure by the ESP Home, even if how to install the ESP Home, where to install the ESP Home. So I have this plan. I want to make a, a ESP Home a videos about the, the whole progress and how to step by step and how to configure it and how to use it and how to configured for the smart home automation. And also, if you have some ideas, we can discuss together and leave your comments on the YouTube channel. And every day, we will receive the email or receive the WhatsApp or receive the message from our King Kony's phone and how to configure it and how to uh, use this ESP32 board. And many of our customers uh, make IoT project make smart home project or make agricultural project. Many have used this ESP home to configure it. So we will feedback our questions uh, from different way and from many questions I, I'm thinking uh, whether I can make a video tour about this ESP home so that can help the beginners or help some people uh, use some ESP home new functions and uh, use some uh, commonly used functions. Because uh, from two years ago, uh, King Kony's company have designed many ESP32 board uh, that is used for ESP home. So that the board hardware is open source. Uh, you can download a schematic from King Kony's website and the software if you use by the ESP Home. So you can do anything. So you have your own hardware and you have your own software, firmware, so you can do anything. So the Home Assistant also can run it on the local network. If cloud server broken or if internet cut, and the Home Assistant also can work with the mobile phone, or work with the PC computer, or work with the tablet. So that you save the message, save the information in your private server. So this is why the Home Assistant is widely used for the smart home DIY. And so I have these ideas uh, to help some beginners and help, help some people how to configure used by the ESP Home such as from one board and how to install the Home Assistant and how to install the ESP Home and how to configure the ESP Home and how to control a uh, LED or how to control a lamp for on and for off and how to change this dimmer and how to control air conditioning and how to control TV by this IR signal and all configured by the ESP Home uh, because almost every hardware will have some different resources uh, such as digital output and digital input and analog output and analog input. So if you can learn in this and can control this different hardware source, I think you can use for many different IoT projects. Uh, for example, if you can let your digital output uh, configured by the ESP Home, so you can turn on a relay or turn on a switch, uh, a lamp. So if you can read the digital input by the ESP Home, so you can monitor some sensor state, uh, such as door sensor, smoking sensor, or gas sensor. Many binary sensors can be monitored on the Home Assistant uh, by the ESP Home. 
So if you can control the analog output, so you can change your dimmer and change this dimmer brightness or change your fan or change your motor speed because that is analog output change the different voltage uh, for the different load just the motor is for example and if you can read the analog input so that you can use for analog sensor uh, like temporary sensor, humidity sensor or different water level sensor or some analog signal sensor uh, monitor the sensor state in home assistant so this different hardware resource we use commonly have used uh, in the IoT project. Also about the communication, uh, you can use the Ethernet way, or use the Wi-Fi, or use the Bluetooth, or use the Zigbee, or some different uh, bus. So as a two three two or as four eight five. So this different bus also can support in the ESP home. So you can configure it. Uh, you can define which protocol you use, so, such as the Modbus protocol or some different protocol. So if you can use the ESP home to configure these different types of hardware and the different types of communication way, so I think you can do many projects uh, for the automation project, for the IoT project, not only the home automation. Home automation project just one case of IoT project. Uh, you can use for the industry and you can use uh, for the agriculture and you can use for your school education. So many different ways, so widely used in our future. So also King Kong have uh, continuous development some new PCB module so that all will support the ESP home and work with the home assistant together. And also we have make some new ESP home plugin uh, for Tuya so that uh, you can use the home assistant in locally network and you can use the Tuya mobile phone by the internet at the same time. So just configure it by the ESP home. So you can run it on your locally and also you can run it um, by the internet card server. So I think uh, this different situation for your different IoT project case, I just will help you how to uh, how to do with this case and how to do with that case. So uh, this is the principle. Uh, just use understand this principle so you can change your mind and for some different project, just define this function by yourself. So this is my idea. I want to make this uh, series video toys about the ESP home and the step by step and help you to understand the ESP home some powerful function deeply. And also we have designed some new product uh, such as the uh, energy meter for the AC load and the energy meter for the DC battery. Uh, this all on the design. So this will be uh, released soon. So this is my idea. Uh, if you have some ideas or if you need some help or if you want to know some deeply information about the ESP home or home assistant or have some new ideas, you can leave your comments and welcome for your suggestion. So you can show your ideas. Maybe in future we will let it become a product and convert your idea to a product and show your results uh, for everyone in the world. Okay, thanks for watching.